Hi, my name is Agata Ulanowska. I'm a textile and Aegean archaeologist from the Faculty of Archaeology, University of Warsaw and the Department of Aegean and Textile Archaeology. Today I'm going to talk about raw materials for textile production and that means that we will talk about um, vegetal and animal origin fibers. This video is made as a part of a educational project entitled Artifacts, Creativity, Technology and Skills from Prehistory to Classical Greece and this um, project is funded by 4EU Plus Alliance. We will start with vegetal origin fibers because these were the fibers used by the humanity from the oldest times. What you can see here is a range of fibers which are obtained from not domesticated plants and trees as well as from the domesticated species. So we have here a cord made of bulrush stem, we have bands from lime bust and cord from lime bust. We have the stem of nettle, stinking nettle. We have flax stems with seed capsules. We have ratted flax. We have flax already processed. And we have also short hemp fibers. Sometimes the entire stem of the plant can be used to make a thread, as you can see on this example of a thread or rather cord made from bulrush. Most of the vegetal fibers, however, had to be processed before they could be used um, in textile production. Here you can see a very fine straps from lime bust, very soft and delicate. And here is the cord made of the processed lime bust fibers. And this is the stem of stinking nettle. Nettle can be processed, but as you can see, fibers are available also from the dried stem. If we break it, we can see that fibers can be obtained without much further processing. In order to get flax from flax stems, the plant was usually ratted. And here you can see the um, stems of flax that have been mechanically ratted. And you can see how easy it is to get the fiber from the wooden part of the stem. Flax fibers were the strongest fibers available in the prehistory and antiquity. They are really very, very long and very fine if well processed. And as you can see, they can be stretched and slightly twisted. These are hemp fibers. Hemp was another very useful plant uh, which produced very nice fibers, although not as nice as the flax one. And these ones are not particularly well because these are like side products after combing the uh, hemp. So this is like the fiber which is sort of secondary quality product. If we talk about animal origin fibers, we think about wool. And indeed, wool was the fiber that revolutionized textile production in Bronze Age. And this was a big wool revolution that has been attested in Europe and Mediterranean and also in the Near East. But animal origin fibers are not only wool, so it's not only sheep that was important. Um, in textile production, people have also used hair, like horse hair, goat hair, sinews, guts, and entire range of fibers that were coming from other animals such as camels and even dogs. These are deer sinews. Sinews are very fine and very strong fibers. You can see here they look like small strings, but in fact they are comprised of very very fine 
individual fibers. Sinews were used for sewing. They were not used, according to our knowledge, to produce fabrics. These are guts from young ram and from pig. Again, very strong fibers used for sewing and you can see that again they appear as tiny threads but you can see that they are in fact flat and just twisted into the thread. These were also very very strong fibers. This is goat hair. It is obtained from the goat bird. And goat fibers have been used in millennia. They are strong fibers and um, they have been used to make socks or belts or products that required some strength. And these are horsehair. Again, very long and very, very strong fiber that could have been used to make belts or plated products. And here we can see wool. This wool um, has been sheared from sheep, Drosovka. This is a primitive breed of sheep and it comes from Biskupin Archaeological Museum in Poland. As you can see, the wool and hair are glued together. There is a little bit of dirt and such um, wool required processing before it could be used as a fiber for taxa production. Wool could have been carded or combed and you have two samples here that were produced by the students of Faculty of Archaeology at hands-on classes about textile production. So the carded wool is um, of um, fluffy appearance whereas the combed one has um, fibers um, lying parallelly. And now you can see combed and carded wool, um, mechanically combed and mechanically uh, carded as available on the market, and this is um, wool from Gotland sheep. Wool is an amazing fiber due to its insulating properties, very high elasticity. The fibers are short individual fibers, but they can be stretched with high strength and wool also easily absorbs dyes, so wool allowed for the first time for multicolored textiles. 